Hi, this is Stan Lyle with Master Math. During the lesson, you're going to come to some You Try It slides where you're asked to do problems that relate to the lesson. Hit your pause button, try the problem, and then hit the forward key to move on to the answer. I hope you have a really good time today. Well, today's lesson's on rates. But you'll notice at the top of this page, I didn't write rates, I wrote unit rates. And that's because there's really two kinds of rates you can look at. There's just the standard rate, which is a ratio, and which we worked on in the last lesson, and you should understand. A unit rate is a type of rate, and it's a little bit different than just basic rates. And what separates it from basic rates is that word right there, unit. What's a unit mean? Well, it's a single something or the other. It's just a single unit. And you know what unit rates are because you use them all the time. When you get in your parent's car and drive someplace, you look at the speedometer and it's telling you miles per hour. It doesn't tell you miles per five hours. It tells you miles per one hour. One hour is a unit. A unit rate would be miles per one hour. How about miles per gallon? That's a unit rate. This car gets 30 miles per gallon on the highway and 23 miles per gallon in the city. And that tells you quite a bit. I mean, you can compare it to other cars and find out if, it, if you get better gas mileage, if you'll spend less money on gas operating that car. It'll also tell you how many gallons you use on a trip. On the highway, you're getting 30 miles per gallon. If you had to travel 60 miles, how many gallons do you think you'd use? It'd be two gallons because you're going twice the 30 miles per gallon. You use unit rates um, and at, you see them at the grocery every day too. You see a sticker like this on a lot of foods, and it's got a bunch of nutritional uh, information about the food, including that for one serving, which is one cup, there are 250 calories in this uh, product. Well, let's say you had two cups of the product. How many calories would you be consuming? Well, twice what you consume with one cup, but it'd be 500 calories. How about this? When you go to the store, there may be sugar packed up in one pound uh, boxes and in five pound bags, and, and it, it, you need to compare the price. Which would be cheaper? Well, if the, if the one pound bag was $1.68 and the five pound bag was $6, would you be able to compare that in your head? Maybe, but maybe not. So the grocery puts a unit rate on there, pennies per ounce. And that way you can compare it to a larger or a different product and find out if they're the same or if they're, they're different in terms of price. Well, let's try some unit rate problems. Let's say your family drives 150 miles in three hours. What was your average miles per hour? You know your miles per three hours. That's a rate. In three hours, you traveled 150 miles or you traveled 150 miles per three hours. Well, what's that equal as a unit rate? Well, it equals 50 miles per one hour or 50 miles per hour. Well, how did we do that? How did we change this from 150 miles in three hours to 50 miles in one hour? Well, what you got to remember is you're trying to change this to a unit rate, not a not per three hours, but per one hour. And one hour is the unit. It's a single hour. So how do we do that? Well, we divide the denominator by three. And if I divide three hours by three, I get one hour. But if I'm going to divide the denominator by three, I better divide the numerator by three as well. So if I divide 150 miles by three, I get 50 miles per one hour, or 50 miles per hour. How about this one? Driving those 150 miles, your car burns six gallons of gas. What would your average miles per gallon? 
Well, the first trick is to write down the 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 the, the uh, rate, which is 150 miles per six gallons. It says you want 150 miles and burn six gallons, so it's 150 miles per each six gallons of gas. But you need a unit rate. You don't want per six gallons. You want per single gallon. So you'd have to divide that six gallons by six to get one gallon. And then you'd have to divide 150 miles by six. And you come up with 25 miles per one gallon or 25 miles per gallon. Well, you're going to discover that unit rates are real helpful. You use them all the time, and they can really help you solve a lot of problems. For instance, let's say on a trip you were averaging 45 miles per hour. You need to travel 135 miles. How long will it take you? Well, first thing we need to do is convert our miles per hour into a unit rate, written that way as a fraction, and that's 45 miles per one hour. And then we want to change it from a unit rate to just the standard rate because I've got, to, I've got to change that one hour to a certain number of hours that would allow us to travel 135 miles. Well, how am I going to do that? Well, the first thing i got to do is figure out what do I have to multiply 45 by to get 135? And I could do that by dividing 135 by 45. And what I find out is if I multiply 45 times 3, I get 135. Well, if I'm going to multiply the numerator by 3, I'm going to have to multiply the denominator by 3. And if I multiply 1 hour by 3, I get 3 hours. It would take us 3 hours at 45 miles an hour to travel 135 miles. When you go to the grocery, it may be real helpful to understand unit rates because stuff's not all pack all packaged in the same size container and you may need to compare price. You may need to decide am I better off buying a four pound bag of sugar or am I better off buying a one pound bag of sugar. Over here on the left I can buy a one, pay, one pound bag of sugar for a dollar sixty eight and they tell me on the label that that's ten and a half cents per ounce. Over here, I can buy a four-pound bag, and you can probably see that four pounds down there in the bottom right corner, and the price is $3.84. Well, which is a less expensive way to buy sugar? I really can't compare the price because it doesn't really mean anything because they're different size containers. But I could create a unit rate and compare the unit rates, and then I'd know which was less expensive. So let's do that. We know that this larger four pound bag of sugar is three dollars and eighty four cents per four pounds well what would the unit rate be well that means i'd have to get rid of that four pounds and make it one pound and i do that by dividing the four by four and i get one pound but if i'm going to divide the denominator by four i got to divide the numerator by four and when i do that i get ninety six cents per pound well that's a unit rate 96 cents per pound. How does that compare to 10 and a half cents per ounce? Well, wait, I'm still comparing apples to oranges. I'm comparing ounces to pounds, and, and that's hard to do. What could I do? Well, I guess I got to convert that pounds to ounces, and then I'd have a unit rate for the larger container in ounces, and I'd be able to compare apples to apples. Well, I know that one pound equals 16 ounces. There is 16 ounces in each pound, so it's one pound per 16 ounces. And I've got 96 cents per one pound. So if I multiply those two together, I can eliminate the one pound on both sides of that because they're just going to wipe each other out, and I've got 96 cents per 16 ounces. And I can then divide the 96 cents by 16 to get a unit rate of 6 cents per 1 ounce. And 6 cents per 1 ounce is considerably less expensive than 10.5 cents per
per one ounce. Now you try this one. Hit the pause button, do the problem, and then hit the forward key to move on to the answer. Okay, let's write a unit rate. What is the unit rate that's equivalent to $44 in eight hours? Well, the first trick is we've got to write that $44 in eight hours as a rate. And that's just 44 over eight hours. Now I got to convert it into a unit rate. How am I going to do that? Well, let's see, I got eight hours but I need to change that to one hour. So I'm going to have to divide that by eight to get one hour. Well, if I'm going to divide the bottom of the fraction by eight, I better divide the top of the fraction by eight, too. And when I do that, I end up with $5.50 per one hour. You've got two summer job offers. At Fred's Farm, they'll pay you $58 per eight-hour shift to pick tomatoes. At Rosie's Restaurant, they'll pay you $6 per hour to wash dishes. Which job pays you more per hour? Sounds like a unit rate problem to me. First thing we got to do is create, we know the unit rate for Rosie's. It's $6 per one hour. Let's get the unit rate for Fred's. And he's going to pay you $58 for an eight-hour shift. Well, I want to know how much I make per single hour. I want a unit rate. And how am I going to change that eight hours to one hour? Well, I'm going to divide by eight. But if I divide the eight hours by eight, I've got to divide the $58 by eight as well. And when I do that, I end up with $7.25 per hour which is a, a considerably amount more than you're going to make at Rosie's. Now you try this one. Hit the pause button, do the problem, and then hit the forward key to move on to the answer. You're driving to a campgrounds which is 120 miles away. It's now 2 p.m. and you need to be there by 6 p.m. when the park office closes. What average speed do you need to maintain? Well, that's a unit rate problem. And the first thing we need to do is create a rate. Our rate is we need to travel 120 miles in four hours. We've got four hours between 2 p.m. and 6 p.m. to get 120 miles away from where we are now. Well, how are we going to do that? Well, we got to convert this to a unit rate so we know how many miles per single hour we're going to travel. And if I got four hours on the bottom and I want to make it one hour, I got to divide that by four. And if I'm going to divide the den denominator by four, I better divide the numerator by four as well. And I end up with 30 miles per one hour. 30 miles per hour. Well, that's our lesson on rates, and I hope you learned something. Let's find out how much. Go to www.mastermath.info and download the rates worksheet that's under 6th grade, 2nd quarter. Try, the, try your skill on that, and then go back to Master Math and try the quiz for rates. And be sure to come back and see us again soon.